Hello everyone, welcome to the first video of 2021. I have several things to cover in this video. I'm going to start off with what I plan on doing with the filtration. In the last video I mentioned a possible filtration upgrade because this one I think it's, it's done this tank all right, but I think it's a little small. I could use a bit of an upgrade, maybe twice, three times the size. So I thought about it and I've come to a conclusion. I got loads of comments saying uh, maybe go for a sumped tank or maybe a larger internal filter box. I got loads of recommendations on loads of canister filters, literally every brand people put down. Uh, but from research and what you guys have requested the most is a fluval canister filter, uh, preferably the 407, which is the well, it's, it's one of the larger ones. It has one and a half thousand liters an hour, which is three times as powerful and three times as big as this. So I will be able to have more filtration as in more a larger sponge, more biological media. I'll have more space in the tank. Uh, I think it will be a lot quieter as well since it's in the cabinet as well. And yeah, more flow as well. It's one and a half thousand liters an hour. That's that's quite a lot of power. So I'm gonna that should be here. Well, I'm gonna get it towards the end of the month. So probably not in well, it won't be in next week's video, but possibly the week after I'm gonna do a unboxing setup and first impressions kind of video on it. So that'll be interesting. Constantly uh, in the past, well, quite a few videos, I've been complaining about corals not growing. But in the past week, I have actually noticed growth for the first time in months. Literally, well, I think it was... Seriously, things haven't really been doing that well in this tank. They, they've been healthy-ish. Uh, fish have been happy. Water parameters have been... Um, sliding a little bit but you know nothing's gonna be dead stable but they're stable enough for things to be growing and finally we've actually started seeing growth uh, I'm gonna go through each and every coral and see how it's been doing uh, we'll start from this side uh, going from the Duncan coral it's a pretty slow growing coral I have seen it been growing in the past few weeks but it's, it's an LPS coral so it's it's pretty hardy so it's it's got no reason not to grow so that's doing really really well blue digi which is this little, uh, it's, if it was going to focus, it's that little coral in there, blue one. When I glued that coral in there, it was just one branch. See those three little branches coming off the uh, the, the, the tip there? They weren't there when I, when I glued it in. But now, very much recently, you can see the tips are white. That's new growth. And that's a good sign. That means those three branches are going to start shooting really high up eventually. And that's actually growing really fast. So I can almost see, almost, almost see daily growth on that coral, which is brilliant. The green plate at the back, that has got, uh, if I zoom in, a little bit of growth around the edge. If you look on the left side, I don't know if you're going to notice it. So, uh, but I can see a little bit. I know it's tiny, but it is, it's something, it's, you know, it's quite a bit of growth for me. And I'm really happy with that. So hopefully that starts speeding up on its growth on the upcoming weeks. Haven't really noticed much on the Poslapora, but then, but then again, I don't really look at it that much. It's not one of those corals I stare at. Uh, annoyingly, I have a Mexican Turbo Snail on it, so that should be that should be fine. It is glued, so it shouldn't move. But it is, it's healthy, it's getting good flow, good light, so it should start growing. Uh, I think it is growing, but I haven't really noticed anything. Uh, so hopefully we do uh, very soon. We have the red digi. This has grown a lot. You can see all these white tips all over its skeleton. That is new growth, and that's popped up a lot in the past week, like a lot, um, which is good things. That's one of my favourite corals in here because I really like those red corals. It's quite a rare colour to get on a coral. Most most of them are green. Uh, so have a, have a red coral, nice and big, will look really nice in this tank. The colour isn't great on this, but you see all those branches at the, at the front, you see all these tiny little one centimetre things on the front. They are, they're, they're new. In the past week, well, I'd say two weeks, I've noticed those little tips rise up very quickly. And considering this tank is actually, it's a year old in just a couple days, actually, exactly a year old. I started on the 12th of January. Today is the 10th, I think. I think it's the 10th, roughly. Um... Yeah, this has grown loads. Colour isn't quite there yet, but it's working on it. At least it's growing, um, and at least it's alive. Um, that's a good thing. 
The one at the back there, again, lacks colour, but is growing a little bit slower than this one. Uh, but there are some branches I've noticed got a little bit longer and some uh, more branches coming on along the front as well. This coral at the top, believe it or not, this was bright purple when I got it. When I, when I first introduced it into this tank, it was like really pink and purple. It was by far my favourite coral in here. But now, polyps are bright. It's the most greenest coral, one of the most greenest coral in, in here. It's really green, polyps are green, skin's a little bit purple in some patch. It's a bit, it's patchy purpley green. It's a bit of a funny coral, but it's, um, it's growing and it looks good, so I'm not complaining. At the back, you can only just see it through that little hole, but the hammer, haven't really noticed much growth, but it's already nice and big, so I'm not asking for it to get massive. But it's healthy, it's definitely doing much better than it was in this original space, which is where that purple plate is. Uh, it's getting less flow, a little bit less light, which it seems to be preferring. Uh, and yeah, we should start to see some big growth on that very soon. Uh, coming to, um, well, this one, this, that at the back, the green coral, yeah, the green one, is actually a pink millipora. Um, and I think that's a purple acro, some kind of purple um, acro, uh, which has turned to be green. And this pink coral, pink milli, has turned out to be green. It's almost as green as the green millipora. It's almost looking more green. A um, bit weird, the polyps you can see are pink, pinky purple, uh, but the skin has gone green. Uh, which I'm a bit confused about, uh, but it is growing. You can see a little bit of basing out on the bottom. It's not just one straight stalk. It's got a little bit of uh, a foot on the bottom, which is great. Uh, coming to the green millie, it's looking really good. Colours really good. Polyps, um, they could be longer. For a millie, they're usually really long. Well, not really long, but, you know, they've got a bit of length to them, considering it's a small polyp. But you see it is basing out, it has been basing out for a while, but then in the past week I have noticed it's been basing out quicker than usual. It's, uh, you know, it's eventually going to take up that whole little tip there, and then branches should start pointing out uh, from the side. The purple plate in the centre, uh, you can see it's a little bit uh, browned out. It's not brown, but it is, you can still see it's purple, but it's not as purple as it has been uh, in the in the previous weeks. It's gone a bit down, but it did fall down. Uh, I just picked it up yesterday. Uh, Snail moved it. I'm not surprised. Uh, I did re-glue it. That's why it's white on the edge, because that's fresh glue. Uh, so that should get algae over it uh, in just uh, probably one to two weeks. Shouldn't see it. Uh, but it, I haven't really noticed much growth on it, so I guess it's um, it's still settling into its new spot. We've only recently moved it to that spot. It was uh, much lower down, but now it's getting higher intensity in, in intensity light, higher flow. It should start to uh, prefer that because it is an SPS coral, so it should enjoy that and start growing. Now, if we go up a little bit, we've got the frog spawn. Uh, it hasn't been in in the tank long enough to me noticed, no, for me to notice enough growth but it's it's healthy it's getting enough flow it's getting enough light so you know it should be growing um well we should see some growth on that very very shortly green hystrix you can see in the center it's a little bit white but it's it's kind of always had that since um well for months really um it's doing all right it's decently healthy but it is growing very slowly but it is growing um, it's doing all right. Uh, it's very small frag, so it's going to take a while to you know kick off. Uh, I've got a bit lower. This is the fastest growing coral in here. This is an Elkhorn. It's I mean uh, they are known to be really fast growing corals, but all of a sudden, past few days or well, to a week, it's been really really rapid. Like I can actually see pretty much pretty much daily growth on this. Pink Hystrix. Uh, you can see it's got a bit of hair algae on the edge but i can't do anything about that actually i am doing something about that at the moment i'll get to that in just a second i can't brush it off because i don't want to damage the coral i don't want to break it or i don't want to scr scrub off any of the uh, the polyps that are on it and i can't i could take just pick the snail up and then put it on it but i don't want it uh, breaking any of the branches again so i'm just gonna leave it as it is it's not disturbing the coral too much it is growing definitely one of those corals that has improved in the past week uh, it's doing very, very well. Moving along, uh, looks brownish on the camera, but in the flesh it is a nice red. It's kind of like, it's kind of the same as that. It's a red uh, plate. Yeah, it's Montipora SPS, and it is 
Um, I mean, it's healthy, but growth haven't really seen much. I don't even know what this coral is. I don't know what the name of it. I'm pretty sure it's some kind of acro, but that little branch, um, there's a little branch. It's hard to see really on camera, but there is a little branch on the left side of it. You can see a little bit of a tip. Uh, that's new, and the humps that are on it, the little bumps, are definitely taller than what they were. When I first introduced this coral to the tank, it was pretty much flat. It was just a flat base of coral. I thought it was some kind of weird um, plating thing, like encrusting kind of coral, but it's got these little branches that are coming out. It's it's growing and it looks healthy, so I'm happy. Stylophora at the back, uh, it's... Um, the, the skeleton is a little bit browned out. It should be a bit purpley, kind of blue type of colour, but the polyps itself are they are blue and growth it hasn't really been growing but it is basing out a little bit on the bottom I have seen that um, so we should see growth on this well I'll, I'll keep an eye on it um, day by day to see if it starts basing out which it should do because most of the corals in it are so we should I'm just gonna keep an eye on it it should start growing um, let's move into the one that's down there that's a forest fire digi came out of a tank that I mean, it was it was a healthy tank, but what, the placement of it was like it was getting no light, barely any flow. Uh, it was half buried in the sand. Um, you know, I thought I could save it. Well, I I still think I can. It's doing all right. A um, little bit bleached on the bottom, but that hasn't really spread, so it should be all right. Uh, but the color it should be this kind of red, with that kind of green on the tip. So the, the po right, it's hard to explain really, but the whole coral is red. It's a red digi, but it's got green tips. Um, but I mean that's what it's supposed to look like anyway. But it's had um, it's slowly recovering. I think it's going to take quite a while until it fully recovers, maybe months even. Again, no idea what it is, but some kind of SPS coral at the back. Don't know what its name is, but it is browned out. It's growing, which is um, I mean it's growing, but really slowly. It's already based out at the bottom. You can kind of see through that little hole, it's kind of one of those crows that's hard, hard to see because I've placed it weird, but I've placed it low down so it's got loads of room to grow out. Uh, one of the things I don't want it doing, um, but I've already glued it so I don't want to move it or disturb it, I want it to, yeah, to leave it to sell, settle in. You can see it's leaned up against the box filter which I will be removing from this tank in a couple weeks time, so I don't want it you know, growing onto there and starting to kind of base out off it. And then, you know, it would be more difficult uh, to get this this thing out without breaking it. So I hope it doesn't grow for the next couple of weeks and then starts kicking off. So hopefully we start to see some good colour. I did see the colour, um, the colony it came off, um, I saw the colour of it. It's like a bright pink with green polyps. You can kind of see a bit of green on it. Uh, but the skeleton, you can see that's brown. That should be um, uh, pink. But like a really bright pinky purple so on the upcoming i'd say months at this rate it looks like it's going to take a while to recover but we should start to see improvements on of growth fairly shortly the green hasuta uh we got quite a few aptases coming out of it i'm gonna to have to deal with those but it's growing really slowly uh color is nice though it's healthy it's already kind of big so you know that can kind of grow grow at whatever speed not really massively fussed it's, it's not one of those corals that's one of my favorites um but you know it's all right i think one of the issues is all this aptase is probably irritating it so i'll deal with those after i've done this video um yeah zoas i reckon in six weeks at the latest this whole you won't even be able to see the rock anymore these are growing pretty fast but they are soft crawls so you, i mean I'd, I'd expect them to uh, the acan is growing pretty fast it took um how long did it take I, I, I used to remember this i think it was 14 months yeah 14 months ish to actually start growing um but it's got nice and big now it's a nice little ball um and yeah it's doing well and so are the zoas around that end as well so that'll do it with uh, the corals. Most of this video is mainly just kind of going through um, the corals because they are starting to grow and that's a big achievement for me because it's been so long since they've actually showed any signs of you know, true growth. Um, and I wanted to announce that I'm going to be changing the filter um, towards the end of the month. I know this was a bit of an extended long video but I had a lot to cover. Well, there's a lot of corals in here. Um, 
As for the peacock grass, he's still chilling in the corner, being weird. So that's that's that that's this week's update on that fish. It's uh, it's really not improved much at all. It's still being weird. It's not it's not out. It's not really eating. Well, it's got to be eating, but it's it's because it's I haven't seen it eat in weeks. To be honest, well, nearly a month, at least a month for it, actually. Uh, but it's it's picks of the rock sometimes. So I guess it's eating algae and um, and copepods mainly. I like probably copepods because rattles do eat those, but. You know, it's still being weighed, it's in this corner now, it kind of just hovers over the sand at the back, so, you know, I'm still watching it week by week, uh, I'll give you updates on it, and see how it's doing. Yesterday I started a dose of Vibrant to make sure, I mean, there's no algae in here, which I'm really surprised about, since there's only one snail in here, unfortunately one died a few days, of a, a few days ago, uh, so I've just got one in here, there, and that's that one there, um, but it's doing a good job. Um, I've started a dose of Vibrant, not because there's algae in here there is but it's very very minimal um so just to keep it at its lowest i'm gonna uh, continue with uh, vibrant once a week every saturday three mil of vibrant so that should keep you know any nasties like bubble algae hair algae you know starting to take a foot in on the rocks so you know i'm going to continue with that dose for a few months um until the tank properly properly set, settles in it's been a year now so i guess you could call this yeah, I'm going to title this video the one year update on the tank. Um, yeah, uh, I've got a video planned for next week. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. Um, so I will see you, well, you'll see the tank next week. Um, yeah, bye.